it's blackberry season in my neck of the woods hi guys it's Kenny with ugly tent recently I've been gifted some uh, flint and steel and I wanted to give a quick demonstration on that it's not a tutorial it's just uh, a demonstration on flint and steel because what kind of bushcrafter would I be if I didn't have a video of flint and steel out there so stay tuned So I'm out on location shooting Post-Apocalyptic Bushcraft Part 2 and thought I might as well take advantage of the beautiful afternoon and shoot the flint and steel video. So I believe preparation is everything. So I brought along some juke twine tinder. I'll take some juke string, shattered it up and made a little bird's nest. Then I've got my tar cloth. There's your char cloth, and I made I made this tin uh, for char cloth in another video. It was a camping a wild camping video. Me and Rooster and Joe were on. We did some uh, char cloth and flint and steel, and this was the gift. <clears throat> this method is is thought by most people to be reserved for uh, the elite bushcrafters or or um, the pioneers. But it's not true. This is actually a very simple technique, which I'll show you. You simply lay this your char cloth on the flint next to the edge. Put your fingers inside your steel. Make sure that they're protected. That's the reason it's shaped and designed this way, is so that you don't uh, cut your knuckles. And you strike it at an angle. And you'll know when you get it because that char cloth heats up really quick. And I'm going to place this inside my bird's nest. We'll feed it some oxygen. Mm, man, that sucker's hot. There you go. So hey guys, thanks for watching another episode of Ugly Tent. I haven't forgot about the cooler. I'm still doing the cooler experiment. So Jeff, keep watching. Um, I'll have the results of the cooler experiment. I've had it in the, I've kept it outside with ice in it, and I've kept it in a car with ice in it, and now I'm going to keep it in my house in the uh, in the gear room, the Ugly Tent gear room, uh, with ice in it, and see how long it keeps in perfect conditions. So stay tuned for that one. And thanks again for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it. And we'll see you next time. <laughs>